Welcome to today's talk on Ayurveda. If you have not watched the videos on morning routine or Dhinacharya, please do. Add one thing at a time and be consistent. You will feel and notice a huge difference in your health. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Ayurveda was written into text 5,000 years ago. But prior to that, it was studied through oral tradition. Information was stored in the brain by hearing and reciting back mantras. And not to forget, meditation helped retain that information. So Ayurveda is an ancient healing system of Vedic tradition, which was passed down from teacher to student. The information came about through meditation and enlightenment. The rishis and munis of that time sat in meditation and received wisdom from within. The language used at that time was Sanskrit, also known as language of the gods, Devanagari. Ayurveda came about to help mankind physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Rishis believe that the purpose of birth is to evolve and transcend Maya. They did not want health to be an obstacle in any sincere seeker's path. So this is the service they did for us to write this ancient wisdom into beautiful texts. Now, let's look at something simple like water. We all drink water and know how important it is. Some of us have huge water bottles counting down the hours to motivate us to drink more. Some love drinking cold or iced water only. And some need to add a little bit of flavor so they toss in a lime. Well, is there a certain way water should be consumed to give us maximum benefit? Is there a recommendation for the temperature of water or what we should be drinking water from? Let's see what Ayurveda recommends. Ayurveda suggests the first thing you do after your morning routine or dinacharya is to drink one glass of room temperature water. This water should be stored in a copper cup or in a copper vessel overnight. If the water is cold, you can warm it up on the stove and then drink it. It is recommended to wait one hour after drinking the water to eat or drink anything else. Let the system and all the organs wake up, start functioning, start cleaning, and then you can put them to work. Drinking water in the morning washes the GI tract, flushes the kidneys, and stimulates peristalsis. So why the copper cup? Dr. Laud explains, copper is an essential trace element present in all body tissues. A small amount is needed for the body to function, but the body cannot make its own copper. Copper works with iron to help the body form red blood cells. It also helps keep the blood vessels, nerves, immune system, and bones healthy. Copper also aids in iron absorption. Here are a few benefits of copper. Copper kills inflammation causing bacteria, stimulates digestion, strengthens immunity, increases energy levels, balances thyroid, helps with weight loss, improves brain function. Other benefits are blood pressure regulation, protects liver, prevents anemia, and it's anti-inflammatory. This time of the year is probably the best time to introduce this practice. Copper is a heating element, so it's great for vata and kapha. Just limit it to one glass a day if you are pitta predominant or have excess heat in the body. 
Now, how about drinking water throughout the day? It's recommended not to drink water right after a meal, to wait at least 45 minutes before drinking water. If you absolutely need to, you can take small sips of water. Water slows down the digestion process. It's like adding water to fire. It puts out the digestive fire in the stomach and food can become toxic. So it's better to avoid consumption of water right after meals and always drink room temperature or lukewarm water. Cold water is not recommended in Ayurveda. It takes around six hours for your meals to be fully digested. So you don't want to add cold water to the process. It dampens the agni and shocks your system, leading to more toxins. Now, for those that love adding honey in your water or during this time of the year, ginger, honey, lemon tea becomes very popular. Honey has great properties to help scrape out the toxins from the body. But how do we take honey? Honey can be consumed right out of the jar. Honey can be added to lukewarm water with lime or lemon. But honey cannot be added to hot water. Never cook honey. It is clearly written in the ancient Ayurvedic text that honey, when heated, is a direct cause of creating toxins in the system. During the heating process, the honey undergoes chemical transformation as it becomes a glue-like substance. This substance is hard to digest and extremely congestive to the GI tract and other vital channels of the body. It adheres to mucous membranes and clogs subtle channels producing toxins. Dr. Laud says, uncooked honey is nectar. Cooked honey is considered poisonous. So key points of today's videos, avoid ice cold water. Room temperature water is preferred. Drink your first glass of water first thing in the morning out of a copper cup and don't heat up your honey. The purpose of these videos is to promote a healthy lifestyle in order to be successful in the world and in spiritual pursuits. Health is mandatory. We have started this effort to do the best we can to assist you in living healthy. If at any time you have questions or are not sure about something, please reach out to us. You can email us, or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The information we share is very general. If you have an illness or a serious problem, please consult with a medical professional. Hope today's video helps in making your life healthier and sweeter. Share this wisdom and let us prevent disease. Making small changes and being mindful, we can become so much healthier and full of energy. Please subscribe for more videos like this and contribute in spreading this ancient wisdom to our fellow brothers and sisters. Thank you for listening. I wish you good health, stay safe, and namaste.